Welcome to Sparks of History, where world history and Jewish history meets. We're pleased to have with us today Professor Edward Berenson. Professor Berenson is Professor of History and Chair of the History Department at New York University, NYU. He's the author of numerous books on 19th and 20th century French, British, and U.S. history. And today we'll be looking at Professor Berenson's richly researched, very readable book, The Accusation of Blood Libel in an American Town. And here we have it right here, the book, which um, I have read and enjoyed very much. It really was an eye-opener um, for me. And um, we'll start right away. Um, Professor Berenson, a little bit about your background and how you became interested in the subject of blood libels? Well, I guess the immediate answer is that <clears throat> I'm from the place where this happened. Messina, New York, a small town in upstate New York on the border with Canada. And although this happened a couple of decades before I was born, the story has been in my family. And I grew up hearing about it and and it was a, it's a strange story be, because the, the, the blood libel, this terrible, terrible accusation against Jews, is common in European history, but essentially unknown in US history. And there is this exceptional case, and it happened to take place in the town I was born in. And my father was born there too. And in fact, my father was alive. He was a young child when this happened. So I decided this was something to investigate. How and why did this happen? Why was it essentially a unique event in American history? And what does it mean that it happened in this place in Northern New York State? So those are all the kinds of questions that I wanted to try to answer in this book. 